Hello guys, hope you all doing well. Today we will study about episiotomy, okay? And it's a very important topic of our midwifery and obstetrical nursing. Okay, so let's start. Before starting, you all know what to do. Like and share my videos and subscribe my channel and show some support. Okay, let's start. Origin of episiotomy. Let's understand where, from where this word is derived. Episiotomy is derived from two words. You know, let's divide this, you know, this uh, whole uh, word into two small words, which is epision and tommy. Okay, episiotomy is divided into epision and tommy. Epision is a Greek word, means pubic area, and tommy is an English word, which is me, which means to cut. So, epision means pubic area, and tommy means to cut. So, the meaning of episiotomy is to cut you know to to a, do a small cut in our pubic area in the time of delivery during labor you can say okay yeah so now you will you know ask why we need to cut our pubic area our perineal area during labor let's understand this definition a surgical procedure for widening the outlet of birth canal to facilitate delivery of the baby and to avoid injury in the birth canal okay so episiotomy is a it's a procedure it's a surgical procedure why it's surgical procedure because we have to do a small incision for widening the outlet of the birth canal for facilitate to facilitate delivery means to e for easy delivery you can say facilitate delivery means easy delivery of the baby and to avoid injury in the birth canal let me show you the diagram here see the diagram this is our perineum area okay this area is our perineum area so during delivery uh, as we all know that our perineum area is very sensitive and it's very uh, you know it's made up with very soft tissue and it can get injured and it can get ruptured very easily so during labor when the baby is coming out when the baby's head is coming out if our perineum area is very you know very soft so our baby during baby's delivery there is a high risk there is high chance that our perineum area might get ruptured okay you know it may get ruptured there is chance of rupture so to avoid that rupture to avoid that bleeding to avoid that injury in our perineum area during the delivery of baby we need to do a small incision okay not in every cases but in some cases we will study that also so we need to do an incision to avoid that injury to avoid that tear in our perineum area as our perineum area is limited in size and it's very soft area okay so there is high risk to avoid that perineum injury perineal tear we have to do this small incision which called episiotomy okay so yeah we can do incision like this we can do cut like this this is called we will study about that also let's see the next definition making an incision on perineum incision means a small cut making an, a small cut in the perineum area this is a perineal area so making a small cut in the perineum area is called episiotomy okay now let's see the another name of episiotomy it is also called perineotomy because we are doing a small cut in our perineum in the perineum area so yeah let's see the degree of perineal tear we need to understand that you need to understand the degree to understand why we do episiotomy let's see first degree perineal tear means first degree perineal tear means you know the rupture of perineal tear we have we, we are telling you the severity of perineal tear so first degree of perineal tear means only the skin is ruptured okay only the perineal skin is ruptured second degree perineal tear means skin and muscles perineal muscles also ruptured okay skin is ruptured and perineal muscle is also involved third degree perineal tear means it's a very dangerous situation means skin muscle and rectal spincher what is rectal spincher this is our rectum no this is our rectum and just above the rectum we have rectal spincher okay just above the rectum means here we have rectal spincher so means here in third degree perineal tear our skin is also getting ruptured our muscle is also getting ruptured and even our rectal spincher is also getting ruptured means all this portion is getting ruptured is getting injured so 
during delivery we can have this you know injury we can have this there is high risk of having third degree second degree perineal tear to avoid this we have to do episiotomy which only involves the skin so episiotomy is just first degree perineal tear which is a minimum amount of injury which can heal very easily so and it's not very serious also so our you know first to do to you know minimize our risk to uh, you know minimize the risk of get you know ruptured and you know bleeding and injury so we do episiotomy if we don't if we don't you know follow this procedure then it can lead to third degree perineal tear also which is very dangerous which can cause bleeding severe bleeding and a mother can go to shock and it's not you know it's it's fatal it's a fatal condition it's a you know it can lead to death also so yeah to avoid this third degree and second degree perineal tear we have to do episiotomy which is only you know involve the skin okay so i hope the definition is clear and let's see the indication now indication means you know in which condition we will do episiotomy in which condition we will do episiotomy so primary gravida the meaning of primary gravida is a mother who is getting pregnant for the first time obviously the mother is getting pregnant for the first time it, there is high risk in primary gravida when the primary gravida mother is having normal delivery so episiotomy will help in easy delivery okay because it will widen the area multiple pregnancy as example twin pregnancy so if a twin mother is having normal delivery then episiotomy will help in increasing the diameter of vaginal outlet this is the vaginal outlet this is the vaginal outlet and if we do episiotomy then the vaginal outlet will increase like this right increase like this so it will do easy you know it will make the delivery process easy so in twin pregnancy there is high risk of uh, you know perineal rupture and perineal tear and third degree perineal tear so to avoid that we have to do episiotomy for safe delivery i hope everyone knows about this obstetrical forcep are an instrument shaped like a pair of large spoon if you see you know forcep delivery then you will see the instrument which is used in forcep delivery it looks like a spoon a large spoon okay so we hold the baby with that spoon we hold the baby's head with that large spoon like instrument and we pull out the baby okay it looks like a large spoon with that spoon we hold the baby uh, baby's head and we pull out the baby's head to hold the baby's head to guide the baby out of the birth canal so during this process already we have the baby's head in our perineal area perineal area is already very stressed out okay but we even you know after the baby's head if we also put uh, forcep inside our perineal area so it, it there is high risk of rupture so to avoid that rupture during this procedure you know mother's uh, perineal area perineum may get ruptured so due to that you know due to increased pressure in that area because we have baby's head also and we are putting you know a large instrument there also so yeah it it, it just increases the risk so to avoid that risk we have to do episiotomy now macrosomia baby macrosomia baby means a newborn with an excessive birth weight okay means the baby is ex has excessive birth weight like weight more than 4 kg right uh, okay comment below the normal weight of baby after birth okay so the baby's weight here is more than 4 kg so it's an excessive birth weight so in that case we have to do episiotomy because there is high risk of perineal tear perineal might get injured now macrocephaly now let's see what is the meaning of macrocephaly a condition in which baby's head is abnormally large okay like hydrocephalus so we have to do you know episiotomy to to avoid the injury okay to avoid any injury so yeah except all these points we have other points also like malpresentation okay and uh, yeah like this or you know contracted pelvis you know small pelvis so yeah we have all these conditions also if you know any other condition other indication of episiotomy please comment below and we will continue the rest of the topic in our next